Good afternoon, I'm Tom Hughes, uh, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here again before the Washington County Public Affairs Forum. Uh, I would mention, I guess, I think that I'm the only one of the three of us who's actually a member of the Washington County Public Affairs Forum, so uh, I feel like I'm in my own club here this afternoon. Uh, this organization has, uh, has had me before it on a number of occasions as I've played out my public career here in Washington County. Uh, I started uh, I started in Washington County as a very young child. I don't want to go all that that far back, but I was actually born in Hillsboro. So, uh, and com coming forward a few years, started teaching uh, at Aloha High School uh, in 1972-73. Taught there for 30 years, uh, with a year and a half off to go down to Salem and work as a lobbyist uh, for the League of Oregon Cities. Then came came back, finished my career in uh, in teaching in 2003. Uh, I had uh, m many of your children, I think, in school over the years. I had uh, some of, uh, I can continually run into former students uh, around the region, some of whom have gone on to careers in politics. Uh, I like to think because of my uh, class in, in government. Um, in addition to teaching about government, I also got involved in government. In 1976, I ran for Hillsborough City Council, was on the city council for four years. Uh, and then came came back from my from a, a short time at the League of Oregon Cities and uh, became a planning commissioner in Hillsborough and was there until the year 2000, when a number of friends encouraged me to run uh, for mayor. I ran for mayor successfully in 2000, 2004, uh, and had so I had eight years uh, service as mayor of Beaverton. And I think the last or mayor of Hillsborough. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My, my, that's the, with the confusion of Washington County, but I was just thinking that the last time I was before you, I think it was in, uh, it was along with uh, Rob Drake as mayor of Beaverton, and we had a, a good time that afternoon kind of teasing each other about the, our different cities. During the, uh, during the eight years that I was mayor of Hillsborough, we saw tremendous change in our community. Uh, and I'd like to talk a little bit about that change because it's that kind of change that I think I can bring to the Metro presidency. It's that experience as mayor of a, of a large city, the fifth largest city in the state, uh, the economic engine of the region, the driving force behind uh, what hope we have, I think, for the future uh, in terms of job growth. I think I can take some of those experiences to the Metro presidency because the jobs, quite frankly, uh, are, are fairly similar. So as mayor of Hillsborough, what I discovered was I had very little in the way of, uh, of uh, direct authority. So if I wanted to accomplish something, it wasn't a question of going to a staff person and saying, okay, I want you to do this, because they would promptly pull out their desk drawer, get out their charter and say, look, here in the charter, it says you don't have any authority to tell me to do that. Uh, so it was a question of persuading people. Uh, you had to persuade your council to go along with you. You had to persuade the staff uh, to, to do what they needed to do in order to implement things. And during that period of time, uh, where I focused my energy, quite frankly, was on growing jobs in Hillsboro. Uh, shortly after I arrived as mayor, and I didn't actually t uh, take blame for it, but we went into the recession in 2002, 2003, and it began to be obvious that if we were going to come out of the recession, we had to find uh, new jobs for, for people in the community. Uh, what, I, what I did uh, in those eight years was I forged an alliance with the business community particularly the Chamber of Commerce, but, but several of the large businesses in the area too. And we created an atmosphere in Hillsborough that was conducive to growing jobs. Uh, it wasn't brain surgery. It was difficult, uh, but, not, but not complicated. You went out to the businesses, you sat down with them, you said, I'm here to thank you for being here. Thank you for investing in our community. Thank you for creating jobs. What can we do to help? And what we got as a result of that were companies expanding uh, in, our, in, in, our, in our community, in part because when, when necessary, I was willing to go to Japan and Germany and talk to the corporate leadership of some of the companies that were there. And that gave our local uh, branches an advantage over their competition within the company that they got the money to expand where other people didn't get it. So I understand how you work with business in order to create an environment where uh, businesses can grow and jobs can be created. And, and I think that that's important. We've gone through uh, a critical time in, in our history. Uh, most, uh, most immediately, the last two years, where we've seen over 50,000 jobs in the Portland metropolitan region go away. 
Uh, but if you look back even further, we have had, we have led the country off and on in unemployment for the last 13 years. This is not a region that has had healthy job growth for a very long time. I think that every government agency in the region has to be on board with working together to, to help create jobs. And I think part of that is forging a different kind of an alliance, a new kind of an alliance and agreement with our business communities. It is a question of saying to them, we appreciate your being here. We, we like the fact that you're doing business in the Portland area, and we see you as the source of the revenue that we need to support the schools and other things that are very, very important to our, to our society. And we want to work with you to make sure that you're successful. Somehow that message has not gotten out. We can blame Measure 66 and 67 for part of that, but the reality is that that, that that sense in the business community and in the broader business community around the country existed before. Whether we like it or not, Portland has a reputation around the country as being not a very good place to do business. And I want to change that. I want that to change in a way that we are seen by the rest of the country as a region that really has its act together on workforce development, that has its act together on having an adequate land supply, on transportation that works, on infrastructure investment, and the other things that we need to really grow jobs in this community. I think I can take my experience of doing that at Hillsborough, take it to the regional level, and with your help, <clears throat> with your help, we can have a prosperous region. Thank you very much. <laughs>